Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, today is Monday, and it has been raining all day in South Carolina. But you know what? We needed the rain, so we were thankful for it. It has um, gone away for the time being, and um, so we'll just take what we can get. First of all, I just want to thank everybody that watches my videos. This um, has just been an experiment. We've just been having fun doing this. And I appreciate so much all the kind comments that have been made and all the views that that you um, that do of the videos. And so I feel like I have gained a whole new circle of friends. And I would have to say at 2 o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep, I look up your Facebook page. And so I can get to know some of you a little better. So I'm beginning to see where you're from. And I just want to thank you. Today we are going to make strawberry freezer jelly. And this is very simple. And once you see how it's made, you can be mad because you didn't ever make it before. And when you open a jar of this for Christmas morning, when you've got biscuits, it's going to taste twice as good as it does now. So the first thing we do, I have already cleaned um, my strawberries and cut the stems off of them. And this is one gallon of strawberries. Now we're not going to need this much for one recipe. And we're going to make one recipe so as not to confuse anybody. You can easily double this recipe and, um, and, it does, and the results are the same. So don't worry about that. So I've taken all my jewelry off. I've washed my hands good. And the best way to do this is strictly putting your hands right in the strawberries. And so you just have to squash them up and it just takes a little while. So while we're squashing and getting these ready, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're squashing away here and I did wanna tell you, don't use your food processor to do this because it will just make it too soggy. It's, um, you got enough liquid just like it is and what we're trying to do is to make sure we don't have any hard pulps in our jelly. And it just takes just a little while, not long. And um, I'd say four or five minutes it'll take you to squash these up really good. And uh, these particular strawberries are soft, which makes it easy. And sometimes the inside of the strawberry is just a little bit hard and so you have to squash a little bit more so see you just want to be sure that you have some of the pulp left because that um will give you a better texture in your in your jelly okay all right we'll be all right one right recipe calls for two cups of squashed <laughs> strawberries so we're going to take, and you, your measurements need to be exact on this. So we've got exactly two cups of strawberries. We'll put that in our bowl. Now, you put four cups of sugar. Now, don't use less sugar, thinking maybe you're going to make it not quite as sweet because it will not make, it won't gel. So that's two, three, four. So we got four cups of, of sugar. Now, we're gonna just stir this a little bit. We'll switch. What you want to do is to make sure that the sugar and the strawberries get acquainted with one another really well. So you stir this really good. And at this point now, this has to sit for 10 minutes and that's just primarily so all the sugar can dissolve and um and it gets ready for the next phase so we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and we'll be back we're gone i stirred this occasionally 
And the, the main reason for letting it sit for a while is just so that you're sure that that sugar um, dissolves really good with the strawberries. And see the texture there, you've got some of the strawberries still in there. So we're gonna leave that. Now this is the next step. It calls for three fourths of a cup of water. Put that in our pot. Turn that eye on high. And this is the Sure Gel, which it looks like this when you buy it. Okay, we just cut this top off, pour this into our water, and then we go just make sure it dissolves. And what you do is you bring this to a, a bowl. So we're going to let that come to a bowl. It won't take but like a minute or so. So we'll be right back when it starts boiling. Okay, this is boiling now and it boils for one minute. So I'm going to set the timer so that it, we, and, and you just let it, you just let it boil. So. We just gonna watch it and um, because immediately when it finishes, we pour it directly onto our strawberries. And I do set my timer for things like this because it's hard to keep up if you've got stuff going on in your kitchen. And that's just like when we said that that needed to sit for 10 minutes. I set the timer so that I would know what 10 minutes was because if you get distracted a lot of times, you lose track of your time. So it's better just to go ahead and set your timer for these little things. And that way you can keep up with it a lot easier. And see, cause now we are on the countdown now, we are 10 and counting down. So, and you just let it boil the whole time that, uh, that the time is running. All right, we got one minute. Put our stove off. All right, there we go. Just make sure everything in there is. All right, and we pour this directly onto our strawberries. All right, we mix this up, and now. This sits for three minutes. And, and, and while it's sitting, you just stir it occasionally, not constantly. And this again is still making sure that, um, that the, the sugar's dissolved. And so I'm gonna set my timer for three minutes. And we'll be back in three minutes. We have been gone for two minutes and 46 seconds, okay. We only count down here and now we're at zero. So turn our uh, timer off. And then this is our jelly. See, it's already beginning to congeal. And so we're well on our way. Now you're not gonna believe it, but that is just about all it is to it other than putting it in the jars. So now we're ready to put it in the jars. This recipe can be doubled. Now don't more than double it because it may not make and you're dealing with, um, with this, con you know, the congeal factor. So you want to be sure not to um, overdo it. So you can double the recipe. And if possible, use fresh strawberries like out of the field. Now you can buy the strawberries in the store if you don't have these available, but the ones out of the fresh out of the field is really the best all right so now we go put this in our jars and these are half pint jars you know jars right now are a little bit hard to find i was lucky enough to find these at dollar general i don't know if you have a dollar general but right now they have a, a good supply of jars and lids and actually they have the 
the short jaw too. Now, they're in the jars. This makes six of these half pint jars. Now, if you put this in the refrigerator, it'll keep up to three weeks, but you can put it in the freezer and it keeps up to one year. And so you can make ever how much you think your family, you know, can use. But this is Teacher Appreciation Week. And so I don't know if you have um, a school teacher that you need to recognize, but this would make a wonderful gift for a teacher. And so this is a loaf of homemade bread and a jar of the jelly and just a little thing that says you are the very best teacher. Now, these sit on the counter overnight. You don't go ahead and put them in the refrigerator now. You leave them overnight, and then the next morning, you either put them in your refrigerator or put them in the freezer. And so, this makes a wonderful gift anytime. If you have a friend that um, um, is in need, or somebody that's sick, or somebody just had a baby, or whatever the occasion, this is a wonderful gift to take. This and a loaf of bread and just um, something, you know, to let them know that you're thinking about them. So I hope you have a wonderful day today, the rest of the day, and the rest of this week. I'm going to have a good one, so I hope you do too. And everybody, shine for Jesus.